Big fight last night. The return of Jerron Ennis against David Avenition and Terrence Crawford. Throws a little shade at Jerron Ennis after the fight of against a common opponent, David Avenition. Let's talk about what Terrence Crawford had to say in the aftermath in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're gonna be in the 147 pound division. Where well, we got a real one. Jerron Boots Ennis defends his IBF welterweight title for the first time in a fifth round stoppage of David Avenition, a former opponent of Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford responds, and says something that I think people are misinterpreting, but I'm going to look at it from the two ways that it could be interpreted. He says that all of a sudden, somebody's a world-class fighter and look at the double standards. Terrence Crawford says, world-class fighter now, huh? My, the double standards be crazy. Eddie Hearn, you talk good. That particular statement could mean two different things. One, it could say that all of a sudden Jerron Ennis is a world class fighter. Oh, what the double what double standards? And it could be a shot directly at Gervonta Day. I mean, at Jerron Ennis, or it could be a shot at David Avenition because Eddie Hearn said during the telecast that David Avenition was a world-class fighter. So Terrence Crawford says, oh, he's a world-class fighter now. What's up with the double standards? So let's look at it. Let's analyze it. I don't think that Terrence Crawford is doubting that, that, Bud, that Jerron Ennis is a world-class fighter. That is obvious to everybody's eyes. Uh, I know Terrence Crawford in the past has said that. Everybody knows that Jerron Ennis is a world-class fighter. So for and so there would be no double standard if Terrence Crawford was referring to Jerron Ennis when he said world-class fighter in a sarcastic, in a sarcastic way. Because both Jerron and Terrence Crawford are both considered world-class fighters by everybody. What more is likely, what is more likely is the second interpretation, which is that he's talking about David Avenition being a world-class fighter all of a sudden when he fights, when he fights Jerron Ennis, but when he fought Terrence Crawford, when David Avenition fought Terrence Crawford, people were calling him a Euro bum. So I think that it is safe to assume that the second option, the second definition is what he meant, or the second interpretation is what he meant, that he was really talking about David Avenition. Now, it doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter because both Terrence Crawford and Jerron Ennis both did the same thing to David Avenition. They were both, David Avenition was tremendously overmatched against both of them. Now, the difference in the fight could be that um, Jerron Ennis really pushed the gas on David Avenition. He had almost no respect for da David Avenition and was 100% set on making sure, apparently, that he didn't go out like Shakur Stevenson with a bunch of people calling him boring, fighting in his hometown and having people boo him. So I think that uh, Jerron had a little bit of performance pressure on him because he had to make sure that he got that stoppage. He could not have had a situation where it was like, you know, when Devin Haney fought Uriokas Gamboa after Gervonta Davis had knocked out Uriokas Gamboa, right? Or 
God forbid, Devin Haney situation where he lost to Ryan Garcia after Gervonta Davis knocked out Ryan Garcia. So I think that in the actual performance itself, that it could have been a lot easier fight for Jerron Ennis, even though it was a pretty straightforward and easy fight for him, but he did get touched up uh, at some times by David Avenition because he was on the inside trying to make it work, uh, trying to get him out of there. And as a result, he took some shots. Very tank like performance, actually. Very tank like performance. Just walked him down, stood right in front of him, slip shots when he needed to, felt the dude didn't really have any power, wasn't really worried about the power, and just cracked him up out of there with tremendous body shots. In fact, when people say that Jerron Ennis fights like uh, Terrence Crawford, I had that thought in my mind when I was watching last night, and I was like, this is much more of an Errol Spence type of performance out of Jerron, where Jerron just said, no, nah, man, I'm walking this dude down. I'm getting him out of here. Not like I'm looking for an open shot where I can really clock him with one thing and get him out of here. Uh, even though he wound up breaking David Avenition's jaw, uh, he wound up, you know, and so he definitely did hurt him very, very, you know, severely in it. He winds up dropping him, uh, coming off the ropes in the, uh, in the fifth round. Before David Avenition doesn't come back, doesn't come back out. But, you know, just much more of a aggressive, much more of an aggressive style fight out of out of um, Jerron than Terrence. But uh, Terrence Crawford being upset about the fact that they're now considering Jerron um, uh, David Avenition to be a world class fighter. Well, you know. You fought him on on BLK Prime, and I don't know. I don't recall what BLK Prime said about David Avenition, but I promise you this: if if Terrence Crawford had fought David Avenition on on Matchroom, Eddie Hearn would be calling him a world calling David Avenition a world class fighter for sure. Because that's how he promotes everything. But I don't think I mean, I think David Evanesian is clearly a world class fighter. He's just a lower level. You know, he's just a lower level professional um, world class fighter. Right. So I don't have a problem with people considering him that I don't think David Evanesian is not David Evanesian. This is somebody that she's going to get beat up in your local gym. But at the end of the day, good show by. Uh, Jerron Ennis, uh, as good a show against the same competitor as uh, as Terrence Crawford, but not sure really what that means because it's the same type of performance Igus Kalvinakis gave against against um, David Avenition, and uh, David Avenition fought. Um, I think he lost his original title or yeah he was originally a WBA interim title which is by the way something they said they call I think they called David Avenition the former WBA champion which was just a flat out story because the most he ever had was a WBA interim title when he fought for the WBA world title at 147 he fought um Lamont Peterson and Lamont Peterson wound up beating him and that was the belt that Lamont Peterson had dropped in order to have uh the match with with um, Errol Spence Jr. But all in all, man, look, Bud, Bud takes seems like he takes everything personally. This I don't think is much to say to take personally. People are just upset with the fact that Bud didn't fight Errol Spence, so he got shot down a lot. This is the opposite. The people are now saying they want to see Jerron fight Terrence Crawford, so they're going to take whatever replacement, whatever fights they get out of Jerron until Terrence um, allows Jerron allows. Jerron Ennis to step up and fight him. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.